And now, of course, the final presentation, the big one, the Border Gavaskar Trophy, to be presented by, of course, the two legends, uh, Mr. Sunil Gavaskar and Mr. Alan Border, both present here. And it's a trophy to be presented to the winning captain of Australia, and I believe Ricky Ponting and Adam Gilchrist both will come and collect the award. Adam Gilchrist and Ricky Ponting representing Australia, the winning team in this series. The Border Gavaskar Trophy presented by, most appropriately, Border and Gavaskar. Australia win the series 2-1 and they will keep that Border Gavaskar Trophy for the moment. Thank you. Well, that's it from the presentation area. Goodbye. Just over the top of Vashishnir and that's running away for a boundary to finish proceedings. What a superb performance from Australia. Reminder, of course, that India won the toss and asked them to bat 50 overs. They've got 359 for two in the World Cup final. Ricky Ponting, absolutely outstanding. 140 not out of 121 balls. And good support also from Ricky. Damien Martin, rather, 88 in the partnership, 234. But brilliant stuff from Ricky Ponting. Well, as I said, the records just keep on tumbling. Eight sixes in the innings for Ricky Ponting, the highest ever in an innings man, Australian. Far outnumbering the fours that he hit. But why hit fours if you can clear the boundary as easily as he has? A dejected walk off the field by the Indians. It's not over until it's over, but just the body language that you're seeing from the Indians there, you get the impression that they don't think they have got a chance. So Australia have one point going there. One psychological advantage already. Um, yes, it has been a bit of a nightmare so far for India, but of course they've uh, got a couple of fine players in form. There's a look at the Australian uh, batting lineup today and what they did. It was Carnage at one stage. Gilchrist and Hayden played superbly at the start. Gilchrist 57 off 48 balls. Matty Hayden a little bit more subdued, 37 off 54. And Ricky Ponting not out 140 off 121 deliveries, eight sixes and four fours, and Damian Martin not out 88 off 84, and seven fours and one six for him, but that partnership of 234 got them to 359 for two. And you can imagine the bowlers must have suffered three, six, eight of them. Well, well, well. None of them able to go for less than five runs and over, apart from Berenda Sewa, who just had three overs. Ashish Nira, though, has to be said to be the pick of the seamers. 57 runs came off his 10 overs. And look on the maidens. Well, they're all duck eggs. Not one maiden in the innings. That is India's target. Conditions here at the Wanderers are great. They need to get 360 runs. They've got 50 overs available. And that run rate is high. They've got to go at 7.2 runs to the over.